Hey guys, what's up? My name is Emily Hood and welcome back to FHN Today TV here on The Hood Report. Man, has that been an insane week. On this week's episode, we will be discussing the newest head coach of Mizzou football, the impeachment articles brought against President Trump, and the word of the year. Mizzou football has found their new head coach in Eli Drinkwitz after firing Barry Odom. Drinkwitz was the head coach of Appalachian State. At Appalachian State, he led the team to a 12-1 record and a Sun Belt championship after defeating teams like North Carolina and South Carolina. Drinkwitz's coaching style is very offensive-minded, and he has previously coached under Gus Malzahn at Auburn and Arkansas State, and then moved to Boise State and later North Carolina State to serve as their offensive coordinator. Drinkwitz has signed a five-year contract with Mizzou to be head coach, and at 36 years old, he will be the youngest Mizzou head football coach since 1957. All I want is to just have a good football team for one year of college. Is that too much to ask for? Drinkwitz, come through for me, man. The House of Representatives released on Tuesday that they plan to bring two articles of impeachment against President Trump for abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. The articles are focused around Trump's controversy surrounding Ukraine, where Democrats allege that the White House tried to influence Ukraine to open an investigation into political rival Joe Biden and his son, and tried to leverage military aid and a White House meeting in order to do so. These articles make no mention of Robert Mueller's investigation into interference by Russia in the 2016 election. The second article, Obstruction of Justice, speaks about the president's alleged efforts to interfere with the impeachment inquiry by preventing aides from complying with congressional subpoenas. The full House is expected to make a vote on impeachment next week, but if the vote goes to the Senate, they will not expect a trial to be held until after the congressional holiday break. And in our final story of the week, Merriam-Webster has officially named the word they as 2019's word of the year. The English language does not have a gender-neutral singular pronoun, only he and she. And according to Merriam-Webster, they has been used in its place as a gender-neutral singular pronoun for over 600 years. The term is also used by those who identify as non-binary or not belonging to a specific gender. The other top words of the year reference popular pop culture and news moments, including the, which references the Ohio State University efforts to trademark the word as part of its name, and camp, which was the theme for this year's Met Gala. I am so curious to see what words will be relevant in the next year and in the next decade. And that is all the stories that we have for you today, this year, and I guess even this decade. That's crazy. FHN Today TV will be heading on winter break next week, so we will be joining you back in January for our regularly scheduled programming. Thank you all so much for your support towards my show and all the other content that we have been creating in 2019. And I will see you guys next decade. See what I did there? See what I did there? All right, have a great week, guys.